What's up guys? I recently got a WiseFab front end angle kit for my S13 drift car and just wanted to go a little bit of the features of the uh, angle kit and the um, adjustments like how I have it set up for anyone that's curious uh, on how to set up their angle kit. All right, so the front end is jacked up uh, just to make it easier to turn the wheel. It does rub on stuff when the front end is jacked up, but when there's weight on the suspension and everything is compressed, it runs pretty smooth, no binding. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, show you lock to lock with it jacked up. So it will hit the side skirt and fender on going this way, but it doesn't do that uh, when the car is on the ground. So starting up top with the strut tower hats. That's how I have it oriented. This is the driver's side. So you want it all the way out to the front nut. And what you want to make that hole with is just a hole saw. Pretty simple. Just go ahead and cut that hole out. And that's where it'll stay. So there's really no camber adjustment you just set it out here set it and forget it so coming underneath the car you have the lower control arm point I did not change the adjustment on it with that lock nut didn't change anything the manual said to just install it as it is up front for your caster arms it also said don't touch that so that is installed how it came uh, you put the bolts here for an S13, or you put the bolts here for a 14. There's the knuckle. And let me go to the other side to show you what I use for the Ackerman washers. So here are the Ackerman washers. Use the two bump washers. So that's three millimeters of positive Ackerman. Uh, you may want zero, you may want six, just kind of depends on driving style and what you're looking for. Um, as far as clearancing in the wheel wells, these wheels are uh, 17 inches in diameter by 9 inches wide with about 30 millimeters of offset. And I'm also running a 15 millimeter spacer. So that's, uh, that comes out to like 15 millimeters of total offset. And there's really no rubbing to speak of. You just have to kind of massage this area up here, massage that frame seam right there. And I flattened out my brake line holder. And now it doesn't even come close to touching that. Uh, I also had to massage this area a little bit. I have stock fender wells. So if you have tubs, then uh, no issues there. As far as toe goes, it's pretty simple. I went with one eighth of an inch of toe out. So that means the back of the uh, the wheel is turned in by one eighth of an inch on both sides. So that would be so that would be toe out by one eighth of an inch. And if you have toe plates and you know how to use them, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. So what I have on my 240 is the version 2 S13 WiseFab kit. I believe it came out last year or so. And in that version 2 they have two varieties, one with the offset rack spacers and the other with the rack relocation kit. I made a video on relocating my steering rack uh, a year or two ago. So what I did was I ended up uh, calling up WiseFab and asking if I could buy the version 2 kit with the straight rack spacers rather than the offset rack spacers because I didn't need the offset rack spacers but I also didn't need the rack relocation kit because I had already done that and uh, so far things to be look things seem to be looking pretty good um, as far as like drivability goes with my homemade relocated rack and the WiseFab angle kit so I don't have access to an alignment rack. So when I put this kit on, I kind of did everything um, by eye and then adjusted it the best I could with a bubble level. So I had the bubble level 
to adjust the, uh, the or to find out what my camber was. And then uh, I used the bubble level to see where my caster was and both were pretty good. I didn't have to adjust anything um, as Wise, Wisefab said in the kit. Uh, so that really only, only leaves toe up front and your Ackerman spacers or Ackerman washers. Uh, so like I mentioned, I used the three, three millimeter Ackerman washers and I used toe plates to align the whole thing. And I used the uh, toe plates to adjust it to one eighth of an inch toe out. I believe that gives the car a, a more responsive feel. I could be wrong. Uh, if you have WiseFab version two, um, you know, setups, uh, go ahead and, and comment it down below. I'd be um, glad to, to take a read through them and see if I can improve my setup at all with adjustments. So my old angle kit was pretty homemade. It was extended lower control arms, um, like 04 Maxima inner tie rods, S14 outer tie rods, and PBM knuckles. And with that setup, I got, you know, maybe 50 to 55 degrees of angle, I'd say. Uh, the WiseFab claims about 65 degrees, but to me it feels like a lot more closer to maybe 70 or 75. Uh, I do have uh, two, uh, two events with this front angle setup and uh, both events they it, it's done pretty well there's a little bit of binding at full lock but i believe believe that's just something that i have to adjust out for so um, so far i'm pretty happy with it i found i don't really drive to the kit's full potential all the time just because you know going to full lock does take time and sometimes or or most of the time the track doesn't allow for that it doesn't give you the time to snap from from full lock to full lock but I do say it's worth it because having that extra bit of lock is really really handy in tandem battles when you're when you're the uh, the follow driver and you know say the the lead driver chokes up or something you have to tap the brakes or hit the e-brake to to slow down and throw on some angle uh, it's very handy in that situation so yeah definitely even though you're not using the angle all the time I would say it's always good to have extra angle on tap just in case. In all, the kit took maybe five or six hours to install. Uh, it took me a little bit, a little bit longer than it should have because I had some bugs to work out. My chassis is a little bit, a little bit bent from drift accidents and crashes. Uh, so if you're starting off with a fresh, uh, fresh chassis, you should be okay, and it should go a little bit more smoothly for you. Uh, but anyways, if you have any suggestions as to how I should set my uh, version two. WiseFab kit up. Go ahead and leave leave that advice in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it. Sub to the channel if you haven't, and I'll catch you later.